My name is Pastor Ita Udo, Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Youth and Sports, Akwa State. Okay, Mr. What, uh, what's your opinion on the competition? There? Yeah, when I came in here a few days ago, about two days ago, to be specific, to declare the championship opened, I did make a commitment to the fact that I was coming back here when the game is in session to see the quality of players, the, the quality of organization, and today I am here and I'm so impressed with the quality of players that I have seen, the organization that I've seen being put in place, the organization of the, pro, the, the, the entire tournament that is put in place. The, 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 the people, the organizers themselves are very serious with the, with the, with the event. So I am very much impressed. So apart from this uh, kind of events, is there any other thing that um, the state is doing to promote and make sure that athletes like this come up so that they can make the nation proud? Yes, as I'm talking to you, we have the national scrabble competition that is going on now at the Le Meridian Hotel, Uyo. Scrabble uh, players from all over the world are in Aqua Ibom State. Nigerian scrabble players are also in Aqua Ibom State competing. This is the kind of exposure we need our players in the various games to have. So that is why I'm particularly impressed with Christ Embassy for taking it upon itself as a church to organize this championship, uh, championship to expose our players. Bearing in mind that the next one month we will have the National Sports Festival. This championship that we are holding now is a boost to the National Sports Festival that is coming up in the state. So what would you like to say to the youths now uh, concerning this competition about the conduct? Well, I think it is an advantage. It is an advantage that the youth should take upon themselves. This is a very serious advantage that the youth should take. They should take this event very seriously because it is one of its kind. Not many organizations have done this in the past in Nigeria. And I want to say, if we want to encourage sports in Nigeria, churches, corporate uh, organizations, individuals should come in to assist government in the area of sport. It is by this kind of thing that uh, Christ Embassy is doing that sports will move ahead. People should not just sit back and lament. We went to London, we didn't win a medal. What have we been doing? Everything is on government. But Christ Embassy now is taking the lead to tell churches, look, you can assist. To tell corporate organizations, look, you can assist. To tell the rich individuals in Nigeria, look, you can assist. When you have money, you go outside to buy houses. What are the houses doing for you? But investing in sport, you can make your name. So this is a good thing, a good initiative that Christ Embassy is doing. And I encourage the church. That is why I'm here. That is why I will be here tomorrow. That is why I will be here during the closing ceremony.